So you are not going to believe how many Americans are threatening to quit their job right now. They are tired of their management. They're tired of their hours. They're tired of just the place that they work. Well, today I want to explain why many Americans are furious. These workers are now being told they have to go back into the office and work in the office five days a week. And now many are irate. They do not want to work for these companies anymore and they are looking for a way out. But guess what? Some of these companies knew this was happening, knew this was what was going to happen as soon as they mandated that you come back to the office. And guess what? They don't care because now this is just a way to kind of draw those people out and fire them. So I'm gonna break down what's going on, which company this is, what other companies are doing this exact same thing and what they are seeing as a result. So I'll break all this down in just a moment, but all I ask is one thing, it takes two seconds, go ahead, hit that like button if you enjoyed these daily updates, and now let's begin. So what is going on and which companies are now mandating that you come back to work and work in the office? Well, look at this, it says right here, Amazon mandates five days a week in office starting next year. Okay, but here's what's interesting about this. Okay, this is very interesting what's going on. Amazon is telling us that we have to go back into the office because they want that, that better environment. They want people back in so that they can work together, they can collaborate. But guess what? Many people don't like the people they work with. They only work at certain locations because of the money. Well, let me read this to you. It says, Amazon said on Monday it would require employees to return to the office five days a week, effective the 2nd of January. And according to their CEO, Andy Jassy, says, we've decided that we're going to return to being in the office the way we were before the onset of COVID. When we look back over the last five years, we continue to believe that the advantages of being together in the office are significant. Now, here's what I can tell you. And this is what is very troubling. The reason why some companies are now recalling all their employees back into the office, number one, they feel, these employers feel that they will be more efficient. Because right now there's a lot of people that are working at the same time they're watching their Netflix show as they're scrolling through TikTok. They're doing all these things at once and it's affecting their productivity. But also, if these employees that are supposed to come back to the office decide, you know what, I can't do it for whatever reason, then they're out. And now these employers will have the ability to come out and say, well, we tried to get everyone back in. It didn't work. There's not enough employees. So now we're going to have to automate. Yeah. Expect that to come over the next year is where employers are now saying that we've been trying to get all of our employees back but we're gonna to have to automate, we're gonna to have to use AI in order to make this work because as of right now, we don't have enough workers. Yeah, let me read this comment to you. This person says, uh, just wrote yesterday and said, and I quote, they are using this as a way to hide job loss due to automation. We had, the, uh, auto we had to automate because they wouldn't come back to work. No, these corporations are about to do a full scale rollout of AGI programs that they already that are already more than capable of eliminating 80% of white collar jobs. Amazon is not very good for the environment then because all these people are now going to have to get in cars and drive and use gasoline and add more carbon to the atmosphere. Exactly what is Amazon going to gain from this? Why are they doing this now? Yeah. The big thing that I I take from this comment is why are they doing this now? Why wouldn't they have done it before? Well, it's simple. Before, they were trying different things. They were attempting to bring workers back in, hire new employees. Then we saw runaway inflation. Then we saw, after we saw runaway inflation and almost a wage price spiral, then what we kept seeing is, okay, we are almost in a recession. We're getting close. And so the consumer stopped spending money but yet Amazon is continuing to spend money, but it's not just Amazon, okay? A lot of employers 
are going this route and recalling people back in. But you know the result of it? Some are coming back in, but the other thing is they're eliminating people that are not 100% in for their company or are working a part-time job somewhere else and can't manage to be in the office five days a week. But look at this, here's another company, Disney. It says Disney mandates that employees work in the office four days a week, typically Monday through Thursday. It says, in a creative business like ours, nothing can replace the ability to connect, observe, and create with peers that comes from being physically together, nor the opportunity to grow professionally by leaning, uh, learning from leaders and mentors. Then we got JP Morgan. JP Morgan down here says, uh, Jamie Dimon is a staunch advocate of in-person work and once blasted remote work as a policy that does not work for younger people. It doesn't work for those who want to hustle, he said at a business forum. He was among the first leaders to summon employees back to the workforce. As of April 2023, workers have been reporting to JP Morgan offices at least three times a week. The company is reportedly uh, tracking attendance too. How do you track attendance if somebody's working from home? How do you do that? Because now could you uh, look at their computer and see, yep, their mouse is moving, right? There, there's movement on the computer. Every once in a while, there's a button that's pushed. Yeah, you could see that. But there's also devices that will move your mouse around, okay? You've probably seen these. That Amazon is selling items that move their mice, their mouse around, okay? And, and this is what is crazy about this is Amazon is one of those companies that is uh, is kind of doing this, is wanting people back into the office. And so that's what I think is very interesting. Now, I want to show you this, okay? I just want to show you this really quick. Look at this right here, okay? You can see it. This is an undetectable mouse mover jiggler with an on and off switch. Amazon is selling these things. This thing, I'll just show you really quick. Okay, this thing has uh, 6,500 reviews. It's a four and a half star product. Okay, it's a mouse mover. Just so that, yeah, your mouse is moving around the screen. Okay, looks like you're working. But that's what's crazy about all this. Okay, this person said they're on JP Morgan, they're tracking attendance. That's how you track attendance. Okay, now here's what I think is interesting though. There's other companies, and I'll just show you these really quick. X, okay? X owner Elon Musk has consistently opposed remote work, saying he believes workers are more productive when working from a corporate office. And according to reports, they are. They are more productive. But are they happy? Maybe not. And then Zoom. Even pandemic icon Zoom, one of the, of the companies that benefited the most from remote work last summer, told workers who live near a company office to report to their desk at least two times a week. Yeah, this is what we're seeing. You are gonna have to go back into the office. And here's what I think is very interesting. I was talking to a friend of mine. He has a fairly successful company. And one of the things that he was allowing workers to do is they could do all their, their Zoom meetings at home. They didn't have to be in the office. But here's what started to happen. Dogs would bark, kids would walk into the screen and it just looked very unprofessional. Then he was telling me that he kept getting uh, emails from clients that they were um, in a Zoom meeting with the, the company or the person from his company holding on to their kid. His final straw, one of them was breastfeeding on the, on the Zoom call. And so he decided, you know, we can't do this. Yes, I understand you need to raise your children, but if you need to do that, you can do that but we're gonna have to kind of move on. We need you back in the office. And so I don't know exactly what's happening now, but that was the final straw. That was the straw that broke the camel's back is no, you can't do that. This is a professional setting. This is a business. You cannot be doing that on a meeting. So we'll see what happens. But the one thing I can tell you right now is millions and millions of Americans are threatening to quit if they are now being told you have to work in the office five days per week. So we'll see what happens moving forward. The one thing I can promise you is I'll be here every step of the way and I'll fill you in on all the latest news and updates. But as of today, that is what we know. So again, 
Thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys on the next one.